Thank you for tuning into Zayas Digital. I'm Jarrell. And I'm Jamel. Wait, why are the lights off? Alexa, turn, turn on, on Man Cave. Okay. Today we're going to be showing you how to automate your house with Z-Wave technology. And Z-Wave has been around for a very long time. So, and now there's so many different ways to automate your house that people are getting really confused. There's so many videos out there. So, in this video, we're going to show you in part series on how to automate your house with simple products that you can buy on Amazon. The controller of choice that we're going to be using today is going to be the Vera. There's a, although there's a lot of uh, choices of home bridge technologies to control your house, the one we like the uh, best is going to be Vera. It's simple, easy to set up, and easy to use. The best part about this is that we're going to try to bring this to a, a under a budget of automating your whole house under five hundred dollars. So this way, everyone's able to do this, and at the same time, you're able to do this in different um uh, how should i say this break this down by project so if you want to just do one room at a time you build onto your house i know i didn't do my whole house at one time me neither so let's get into it so first right now we have on a screen is vera so vera is a z-wave controller i mean this thing can do so many things just to explain something simple and how i use this technology is i use it to save me money and the way I do that is by automating the house to basically turn off at 9 a.m., turn off all the lights and set um, the AC automatically to around 78 degrees. This thing automates my house by setting up, uh, setting up the, uh, the automatic lock, turn off the lights, setting the thermostat. Those are the main features I use. The one thing I also like to in your house is that how you have the, the plug module control your Christmas lights so you don't have to turn that on. You know, that, sometimes I forget to turn on the Christmas lights myself. That is a good feature. And, that, and these are all things that we're going to show you now and how to set it up later. So moving on and getting into this video, let's go ahead and we're going to try to make this short and not a long video, but at the same time, very informative. Um, so right now we have the Vera here, the Vera controller. This is the one of the newest controller. I have an old controller, that I'm, so I'm going to go ahead and purchase this one and I'll show you my old one versus my new one later in the next video. The one thing good about this controller, it can go over ethernet or you can set it up to be Wi-Fi for those that, you know, want this in a central location. If you're at, um if your modem is on the opposite side of the house and you need this to be centralized to talk to all the devices in your house. And I'm talking about this is um bigger houses cuz uh mine is around roughly around 2000 square feet. I have this at one end of my house. It talks to the whole house itself. So it does get a good strong bandwidth of uh, reaching out to all the devices. But if you have a larger house, you're going to want to stick this right in the center. And if you're having trouble to stick this in the center and ask, and get Wi-Fi to that, that point, I also, to include that, that was an awesome point, to also show you guys a uh, more uh, a, a, a AP that will give you a, uh, a broader bandwidth. I mean, a wider range. A wider range, I should say. Yeah. yeah. So... Let's get into this. So this is the Vera controller. We're going to go ahead and I already added this to the cart. I believe it's already sitting there in the cart ready to be purchased. Yeah, so we have that already. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the next one. I broke, the, broke this down in tabs to make it um, a little bit easier for you guys and um, to make the video go a little bit faster. Here. So this is a, this is one of the uh, technology I'm using that uh, Jamel just mentioned that I'm using to power my Christmas lights. It's automatically set from uh, 5 p.m. So when the kids get home before I pick them up from daycare and get home from school, that the Christmas lights are already going, and by 10 o'clock after they go to bed, this thing's going to automatically shut it off. So you don't have to worry about Christmas tree fires, basically. <laughs> In the middle of the night, yes. yes. Here's a switch that Jamel has throughout his house. This is a switch that is it's, it's very easy to use. Yeah, I, I like this switch personally because you just tap a button at the top or the bottom. It mimics the existing switch that you, if you have a flat panel switch, it mimics the existing switch. You hold the bot, you hold the bottom pad down to dim it, and you hold the top to um, basically bring the brightness up. Yeah. So this was a, a, a one thing that he tried out. He he likes it because it mimics it. It's easier for his kids to get the adjustment to that, and also the people that's living in the house, like his wife. So in my house, we went with the first controller, the first light switch that we thought was the best one at the time, and find out that. Uh, that it went up, it soared in prices, and we used to get this at Home Depot for forty two dollars. Yeah, it was forty two, forty eight, maybe. Yeah, and now it's ninety seven dollars, and it, and I really don't understand the price in the increase in price. Uh, at first we thought it because it's uh, um it integrates with Alexa. Then we found that the GE one that Jamel is using here is actually Amazon certified, and it works with Amazon Alexa. So if you have an Amazon Alexa hub, then you can also use this. 
um, w- without getting a Vera. But I don't, I don't, I'm not a person to recommend the Amazon Hub because it doesn't integrate with the things that Vera can integrate with. Yeah, because Vera has a larger platform, pl- platform, and they accept thousands of devices. So um, that's the one we're going to use today. So we're going to go ahead and add that to the cart. This is the newer version of what I have. Um, I'm not going to order that. That's another option you can go with. Um, the one I have, the one I purchased, put in the shopping cart here, already has the button that I like where I can easily turn it on and off. I don't know if the one I just showed you has like a touch um, sense a button, but anyways, so moving on, these are different thermostats. And the thermostats that I, I I have a thermostat and Jamel has his thermostat. Got mine from when I was with ADT. ADT installed that with the uh, Z Wave, um, Z Wave, the ADT Plus, the ADT Pulse. Pulse. So the ADT Pulse came with the house. I mean, came when I when I purchased ADT. Uh, it was a bad mistake. Um, I should have never did it. It was a very high upfront cost. Um, you know, so and, and anyways, moving forward, I had that already. Now Jamel ordered this one. So this one is very simple. It's basically set up. Um, it, it ties into the existing um, AC control panel with the, the wires. You just got to kind of do exact plug for plug from your AC current AC panel to this one. Um, it's very easy and simple to use. It works fast. So I really like this one. Unfortunately, we're not going to show you how to install this because it's so already installed. installed. And then the second part about this one is the price point. The price point is $57. It used to be $79. I actually purchased it for $79 bucks myself. But it looks like it went down um, in price. So this could be a good starting thermostat. It's not a Nest. It's not self-learning. You have to automate your uh, Vera or whatever controller you're going to be using to bring the, um, the temperature up and down. With Nest and newer technology, it's a lot more expensive. It's 200 and I think, I want to say 49 bucks. I don't think that one's Z-Way compatible, right? No, that is. You can oh, use it, it for the okay. Vera. Um, and that one you can use for the Vera as well, but it's self-learning, so it could kind of just learn your pattern. You don't, you can let it set it, forget it, because it would learn your pattern. The Go Control, and as you can see right here, it says Amazon Alexa. Can, it, it also can be controlled by the Alexa Hub. Um, so that's pretty cool for those who have Alexa Hub already. I mean, you have so many different choices here. I mean, it goes on and on and on. I think Ecobee just integrated with Alexa as well. It has not this one. Um, this, you could see that this one actually fell in price because the new Ecobee 4 came out with, uh, it came out with actually Alexa built in. So you can talk to your thermostat as you're walking by. I think that's a little bit lazy, but you know, you could talk to it and say, Hey, I turn think this down. whole video is going to be lazy. <laughs> yeah. I know this actually got me from getting up and turning on the switch myself to just sitting on my couch, um, and just yelling out to Alexa, Hey, turn off the lights. You know, that's one thing. So w- moving on. We have smart blinds, which is something that I really want to get into. Um, as of right now, I'm still trying to make choices on re- and remodeling my house on what blinds I want to go with. You know, there's so many different blinds out there that it makes it hard. I mean, these things, it seems like a very simple setup. You see the motors in there. You see you got you're probably that motor is probably going to be connected to the Z-Wave. The only thing is um, what I need to figure out is how's the battery control in there? How long is the battery? And that's I, I think that when some of them use um, the battery operated. And then there's some with um, a solar panel on the outside of the blinds that you can hook up to point outside of your window, uh, and cool. it would also charge your battery. And then there's some that you can just plug in. Um, there's all there's all types of um, applications to these setups, so you can get very creative. Um, especially, I'm I'm probably gonna go for the solar panel or the battery because I hate the wire, and I probably don't want to run a wire down the wall. Um, so I may go with the battery. Uh, solar panel um, operated one. I mean, I, as we can see here, it says lithium rechargeable batteries last six to 12 months. Charging option USB, charging cord, or solar panels, which is sold separately. So the solar panel sounds like a better idea because, I mean, really, I'm, I'm not going to I'm not gonna want to get I, out and change that. It's a battery. I mean, every six to 12 months, what if you open your blinds, uh, you know, every day? So that's that's something that I wouldn't be interested in. Maybe it just if it, the solar panel works, I'd try it on one blind and, yeah. and, and that would be it. But you know, as of right now, I don't think this is something I'll, this is something I'm going to pass on. Um, this is an actual cool invention here. And what I like about this, this is, can be hooked up to an outside switch. Depending on, I don't know how good this will work if you, you have corrosion on your, your, your actual switch, but it seems like a good idea. It automatically turns off the water valve. So if you set up 
a, a a flood zone in your house and you and you have issues with that in the basement that can automatically turn off the, the one last thing i want to show you besides this besides this part is also it's called a yale door lock and a lot of you a lot of you guys probably already seen this or probably maybe have it if you have um at&t AT setup. setups this is a Z, also Z-Wave, and this is the, one of the best features I like about my automation of my house. This can be controlled by the keypad, which disappears when it's not being used, so no one even know what it is when I had it on my door. I'm using this one. Yeah, and I have this one myself. I have the silver one. It goes with my trim, so I purchased the silver one. This one is good because I also like this is the one that you can enter your code. You can change the code. You can enter it and have different user setups. You can have it to notify you, especially... So get into the last feature of the Z-Wave technology and what Vera can control. So we have Honeywell. I mean, there's so many different options here that you can go through. You just type in Z-Wave security. I mean, this is something you guys will probably have to do on your own because um, I already have my security system set up. Jamel and I have systems, so we can't even show you this. But these are other things you can play I, with. I did buy that 2 gig one. The 2 gig this one? <laughs> yeah, that one was actually easy to set up as well, so, but I mean, can go with it. Uh, yeah, it was something. I mean, I I I'm not a personal recommendation of Z-Wave technology. They have people that auto. I mean, actually monitor these software. I mean, there's actual hardwares and and your house for you. But I think this is going too far for me into get into automation. I would rather just call a a, a vendor. Like I'm I'm using FrontPoint here. And FrontPoint is a, it's an awesome system. It is actually integrate. It can integrate with Z-Wave technology and and control your devices. So you have home control here. Um, and there's so many different things here you can use, but the best feature about front point for me is that I, which a lot of them could do, but I could set up uh, alerts. So when a certain code is typed in, it sends me a text message. If I leave something open at a certain time, it, it sends me a message. If I forget to turn on my alarm, it sends me a message and it's also able to be controlled from my phone. So that is an awesome feature. Uh, Jamel uses Comcast and, and my, the Comcast is pretty straightforward, simple setup. It's similar to front point. Um, but you cannot control your Z-Wave in your house unless you add it to their system and they have all this um, particular uh, ones that they use. So you, not all your Z-Wave device is going to work with it, but they can take over um, certain ones like GE, the GE brand Z-Wave modules. And also, you know, the Philips Hughes lights they can control as well. Um, they can control the Yaylink. Uh, lock, but again, I don't use that to control. I just use it as an alarm. I like the feature of Comcast um, Xfinity platform because it does integrate with my Comcast television services. So I could turn and I could say, "Hey, turn on camera one." I could see it on my TV. I could see if the alarm is set or not through the TV. So there's a bunch of cool features that you can have with Comcast, but it's very limited. And and these are for people who have Comcast in the area. I forgot. I mean, we're we're in Florida, so. We have uh, Comcast is a big part of our community, so it's probably one of the best com um, cable service over uh, around an internet provider for home users. But until AT and T comes, until AT and T, you mean? And, I mean Google. No, no, no. Until AT and T improves their service, yeah, yeah, they I have mean, a lot of stuff coming. But. Yeah, it's just not here yet. I mean, I, I would prefer that. AT and T does bring something to the table to lower our Comcast bills, but it's some some competition. <laughs> but anyway, so that's I mean this Comcast. This is their newest um their newest home. This is their newest home controller, and it's an it's an awesome controller. I, I mean I like it. It's very sleek and it looks very modern. Yeah. And I have it sitting on my white countertop, so it's it looks just that much better. <laughs> so and and here I mean they have a a controller. It's not that it's all right. I mean. Let's see what we, we can find these this controller here. Um, this is where you can you know control it from your house. I mean, I can't find the controller. I'm not gonna get too deep into this. Well, that looks like your AC unit though. Yeah, this your is AC actually unit. my same thermostat that I use here. So I mean, something similar. But you know, the plans are I mean, forty dollars a month to monitor your house. Um, go front point and I, 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 Comcast I, is twenty nine a month for the first year, and then you get thirty nine dollars a month. Um, uh, after that. Oh, yeah. So, I am not sponsored by FrontPoint. And I'm not sponsored by Comcast. Unless you guys want to, that would be great. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, moving on. That's that's probably, to sum up our video, it. Um, we're going to be waiting for the Vera to come. I'm excited about it. I'm excited to show you guys. And I want you guys to learn this. Thank you for watching Zion's Digital. We got more of these videos coming on how to set up the Vera, how to install the Switch, how to program it, and how to control it on your phone. Um, I'm Jamel. And I'm Jarrell. And thank you for tuning in to Zayas Digital. Like and subscribe and leave comments below. If you have any questions, we'll answer them and get back to you. Alexa. Alexa.
Turn off man cave. Okay. Mind blown. Oh, wait. We still got these cool lights on. See you guys later. Peace.